This Prime Minister won't even call a public inquiry. How can he keep the rest of Canadians facing serious threats safe? The serious threat to our democracy. A member of Parliament and his family were targeted by a foreign government for his vote in this House. But imagine what it's like for thousands of families across our country who flee governments that are oppressive only to come to Canada and have those threats follow them. This Prime Minister won't even call a public inquiry. How can he keep the rest of Canadians facing serious threats safe? Here, 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 here. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, from the very beginning, we have always taken threats to Canadians around foreign interference extremely seriously, which is why we've created new mechanisms uh, and new tools to counter foreign inf interference, uh, and why uh, we've actually appointed an independent expert uh, to look at the foreign interference landscape and to ensure that we have all the tools we need and uh, to create more, including a public inquiry, if necessary. We will follow the advice of independent experts, uh, that th the expert is the one who is best placed to say how we move forward. Matters. found out that a member of this House and his family were intimidated for a vote that he cast and two years since the government has known. They finally expelled the guy who did it, and that is the very least they could have done. We know more MPs have been threatened, and we can ensure the government doesn't let it happen again by bringing in a foreign agent registry. Yesterday, every Liberal on the other side voted against that. Same How can Canadians believe that this government is serious about national security when they ignored the problem for two years and then voted against fixing it? The right honourable Prime Minister. It is being disingenuous. She knows full well uh, that we are moving forward and establishing a foreign agent registry. We're doing it uh, improperly. We're doing it properly so that uh, it actually responds uh, to the needs of Canadians. We will continue to ensure that we're standing up for our values, taking seriously uh, these issues, which is uh, why we uh, did take the time uh, to ensure that, as we uh, declared a Chinese diplomat persona non grata, uh, it was done appropriately. Honourable Member for Thornhill. Speaker, the Prime Minister is being disingenuous when he tells Canadians that he's taking this seriously. We need a foreign agent registry like the one that exists in Australia and the US. We need a, a national public inquiry into foreign interference. And we need to shut down the illegal police stations operating in Canada that harass innocent civilians that the Minister of Public Safety told Canadians was already shut. They are not. Once again, he has misled Canadians. When will he end this charade? The Honourable Prime Minister. The foreign actors attempting to monitor, intimidate or threaten Canadians is completely unacceptable. The RCMP have said that they are actively investigating these suspected stations and as they have done before, they won't hesitate to take action again. Everyone should feel safe in this country and we will exhaust all efforts to protect them from unacceptable behaviour by hostile authoritarian states. The Honourable Member for Thornhill told Canadians that the 2001 report from CSIS was never shared. We know that's false because we know the National Security Advisor had said so. He, she informed the member uh, from Wellington Halton Hills of the truth. He, he's He's, uh, he's stalling on a foreign agent registry. He won't shut down illegal police station, and he doesn't have the courage to call a national public inquiry. Right. Why would anyone believe that he takes national security seriously? That's right. Yeah. right, honourable prime minister, Mr. Speaker. In 2015, when we took office, we committed to establish an oversight committee by parliamentarians to uh, see uh, and, and engage with our security intelligence agencies every step of the way. The Conservatives were totally opposed to that kind of oversight by parliamentarians, but we moved forward with NSICOP anyway, uh, and that is uh, a powerful tool that we have to ensure the Canadians are being kept safe. On top of that, we established a panel uh, to oversee our elections in 2019-2021. That panel confirmed that the elections integrity held despite attempts by interference. We have always taken this issue seriously and we will continue to.